Hello and welcome back to Process Monday. For those of you all just joining us, my name is Sarah and I am going to teach you about a painting technique called encaustics. Also known as hot wax painting, it invol which involves heat, heated beeswax with added color. It's no, normally it's applied to a hard, hard surface, such as pr prepared wood, <clears throat> but here, here in more contemporary times, people apply it to different surfaces like canvases and, well, in my, in my case, fabric which it that that'll probably be for another time though now now the way to now the way to make encaustics which well the way to make the base for encaustics which is the wax there are a lot of different recipes the one i learned in school is I believe one one part beeswax to six parts damar resin, but you can use damar resin, other types of waxes, linseed oil, and gosh, probably a lot a lot of other ingredients. From what I understand, it really depends on the artist, but I use the Damar resin and beeswax just just because that's more of what I'm used to using. Now now the way that you get color with the with encaustics is usually usually with pow powdered pigments or what what I've always done I just m mix in some oil paint into the wax because Encaustics is pretty pretty much wax mixed with oil paint. I've I've never tried to mix acrylic with encaustics, which that that would be an interesting experiment to try. But again, for next time, because I do I do want to show you the application of encaustics on different types of materials, especially as I get get things set up to where I can I can work on large sections of my installation from my BFA thesis last year because 20, 2020 I would like to share share that with the wider public so fingers crossed on on that as a side note now, now the, way, now the way that one works with encaustics is there's an assortment of metal tools. I've used a fork. I have used an intaglio tool. I have used clay tools. And then there's special silicone brushes that I've seen online, but you can, you can, you can use like old worn down paint brushes that really aren't any good for like acrylic or oil painting, but they're re really nice for encaustics. <clears throat> so just just as a side note, do do not use a brand. I mean, hopefully I shouldn't have to tell anybody this, but do not use a brand new paintbrush when painting with encaustics you will never completely get the wax out of it and the way to get wax out of an encaustics brush is usually applying heat to it and that will da damage the bristles and then it won't be any good for anything else besides painting with wax. Sorry about that. Now, now other ways to shape 
to shape the paint before it cools. Well, actually, after it cools. After it cools, you can you can use things like heat lamps and heat guns. And then there's these uh, metal hot irons, which I, I, I use a lot of the heat gun and the hot iron on some of my works, which I will show you two examples of my encaustics, encaustic paintings that I have done and done in previous years as a student at IUS. <clears throat> now, now the fun thing about encaustics, at least, well, a few of the fun things about encaustics for me is it's, it, it can also be sculpted. Like you can build up on the wax and form shapes and objects with it which if you're more three-dimensional minded, this could be something interesting to induce into your work. You know, just a little inspiration there. Possibilities are endless. And then, and then the other fun thing, at least at least for me as someone who who really aside from just straight oil water or acrylic painting I love mixed media because sometimes you cannot get what you're trying to make or come across by just one plain medium sometimes you you need something more but the fun thing with encaustics is that you can use it as an adhesive. You can put objects into encaustics, and I, I will, I will, and like, gosh, and and I have an I have an example of something that I've done that way too. It's. It's kind of a two two for one because it's like it's an example of how encaustics can be used as a as a sculpt sculpting medium and also how it can how, how it can be incorporated into a kind of mixed media type of way so. all right I'm aware this video is going to be extremely extremely late later than what I wanted but unfortunately my 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 com my computer and its several programs do not want to cooperate with me but Either way, eventually you all will get to see me actually working on an encaustics piece, which is what I'm doing right here right now. See, I'm, u I'm using a clay tool, kind of scrape away parts, carve into it. Now, pe people use hot plates and pots. I am using a wax warmer because why not? I mean, it does the job. So you got me some orange mixed up. Because right now that is all I have, but for example purposes, it's fine. It's fine. Right. But, okay, here is designated encaustics brush. See? Cheap, cheapy, cheap, cheapy brush that probably comes in all of your 
starter packs and such and just apply that on there. Let's see more what I'm doing if I look over the phone. I, I wish I had more colors just so I can show show you what it's like when those colors layer over each other. But I will show you here in a minute instead of with, with pictures examples of my work finished work that involves encaustics. Okay, I'm going to get some of that out by doing that. Yeah, but see, now that's that's just going to be designated encaustic brush for the rest of its life and it's for the better but since I don't have any heated instruments I'm going to do this because it makes it easier to scratch out designs in the wax when your tool is heated up a little bit. And of course you always want to practice safety precautions around hot wax or I mean hot anything. Just take it just take it from me. It don't it, it don't feel good. It it is no bueno. Let's see, I've kind of, I can kind of give you a little, come on, yeah, I've kind of, see, I've built up on the layers, and I guess what they call it is that it gives it more dimension. definitely gives painting more of a variety. Because, I mean, it, 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 it took me to a lot of fantastic places. Like, If I did half the things I did without encaustics, I don't think I would have liked it, liked my finished work as much. But oh, hopefully, next next time, which yeah, ne next time I do encaustics, I have more of a variety of ink, more of a variety of color and tools and hopefully I can get my live stream to work but having a little internet problems here lately so if you were trying to tune in on Saturday that that that's why things weren't working and I do apologize. So anyway, let us go go over here. Take a look. A few of my pieces. Okay. Like, see, I'm where I mentioned how. 
you can adhere and layer stuff in the wax like all all that that's that's decorative paper and what I did was I put down one no no no, no. oh okay okay it was a gel medium because I think at, at the time I didn't realize that wax could work just as well but after that I layered gosh probably about a couple of layers of wax on top of it to get this kind of grimy look and then here is where oh, you're supposed to make it brighter sorry I'm you using my cell phone right now so gives me more mobility like you you can see where I built up oh, gosh gosh the the term escapes me but essentially I used encaustics to build up this part of of the lungs to just give it a whole new dimension like it's it's still one of one of the favorites one of my favorite pieces that I've done and then oh, I've got this one which there's all sorts of example of building up layers of different colored wax and melt melting the wax right here with a heat gun and just going in and car carving out the lines and the wax and then I paint painted this portrait right on top of it now at the now, at the time, I didn't know that it was very reminiscent of Faya mummy portraits, but the, this one, this one is also kind of spe special for me just because of that connection. Which, by the time, by the time in this video, you've seen, you know what exactly a Fayum mummy portrait is and how they how they played a part in in the Roman Egyptian culture and y'all get to see a little bit of my studio all right Another. See, look at that. I mean, th th this this just ex excites me. I just I, I love I love the way it feels. I love the way it looks. Not my favorite encaustic piece by far, but it it's definitely a place and time where I started becoming a bit more abstract with my work. Sorry about the view of the kitty box, but I share the basement with a cat. So, you know, she was she was here before the studio. And then got another sample of paper layered in the wax. And I believe this is oil paint on top of the wax. Um, is there... No, there's no caustics in that one. Ah, ah, here we go. Oh, there we go. And that is Chad. That is brother. I beg your pardon? See, there's a little bit of encaustics right here to kind of, mm, 
what's the word not not only texture but give give the actions going on in the painting more emotion it's got a it's got a twin but it is not here right now it is up on campus so as soon as I retrieve it you will see that as well but, anyway, 